Hi there, Steve Kaufman here. Um, today I'm going to talk about listening. I'm going to talk about what I consider to be the three stages of sort of a listening strategy. Um, I'm experimenting today. I'm in a different room. Uh, this room has a carpet on the floor, has some curtains hanging here. And so I think the sound will be better. I may get some of those uh, movers blankets, you know, to hang on the wall in order to absorb more sound if that uh, turns out to be worthwhile. You've got these goofy uh, fish prints behind me. Um, I might even spring for some kind of a backdrop, but I don't know if I need to go that far. I might get another light on the side here to get, you know, more even lighting. At any rate, I'm learning. I'm learning about it because you know, everyone, I think we all like to improve. I mean, language learning is all about improving. Improving usually means learning more about something. And as we learn more about something, then we can, you know, develop better skills. And so I'm trying to do a better job with my podcast. But getting back to the subject of listening. So I thought about it today. I went for a run yesterday without listening to any language. And of course, that's a good time to think, you know, you need some time to think. I can't spend all my time listening to language. Uh, and, and it dawned on me that there are three stages in our listening strategy. There's an initial stage uh, where we need a lot of repetition. So I would call this sort of intensive listening. This is where I listen 30 or 40 times to the same mini stories. Not right away, but I'll go lesson one, two, three, four, five, back to lesson one, two, three, four, five, eventually six, seven, eight, nine, ten, back to one. And so you're listening repeatedly to a lot of the same content. A lot of this content, as in the case of our mini stories, has a lot of high frequency verbs. You're certainly going to come across the high frequency words and verbs often, and therefore it's easier to get to know them. And as you listen to this stuff, whereas when you started, everything was just noise and you think you'll never learn this language. And particularly if it's written a difficult or a different script, like the Arabic script. But with time, all of a sudden, you know, you start to understand things and then you, and this is what I've often referred to as the sort of steep part of the upside down hockey stick. All of a sudden you understand something, you can say something and you feel good about yourself. Now comes the second part of the sort of listening strategy. And this is where you need to, you, you suddenly realize that the, the, the sort of high frequency verbs, the frequency drops up off, off so quickly that the words that you need to know, they, they appear so infrequently now that they're much more difficult to learn. And, uh, but so in that second period, if I, if I go to the third period, you know, I was thinking about it today, the third period, the final period is where I came to in Russian or in Czech or uh, some of the other languages that I have learned uh, or Portuguese. I'm not there yet in Korean. I'm certainly not there. I'm there in Czech in Ukrainian. Uh, these are the languages. I'm not there in Greek or Romanian. These are the languages where I can just grab anything and I will understand most of it. And so I don't have to listen more than once. If I have access to the transcript, I read it, I might pick up a few words, but, but by and large, I can go for a run like I went for a run yesterday and I can be listening to something that's interesting on whatever is of interest to me, history, literature, politics, and I'm reviewing fit words and phrases that I've, you know, learned. I'm learning new things. My brain is getting used to the language. I'm kind of launched there. It's a little difficult, but it's not very difficult and it's very satisfying. That's the sort of goal. Uh, and, and once you're in that third stage where you can listen for enjoyment and listen out of interest and you're, you're just filling your brain with phrases and words in the language, words that you've learned once, twice, three times, they come up again. You're just strengthening your hold on the language. That's a very solid base from which to really embark in speaking and speaking, speaking often and speaking up sub, on subjects of interest, which I can do with the tutor online, or if I go to the country, I'm now launched in the language. So how do we get there? So the first stage was kind of getting a toehold in the language with, with a lot of repetitive listening. And that third stage is when the difficult, interesting, authentic material is, is accessible and comprehensible. And you can just 
go off listening to it, put it in your car, listen to it. You're just enjoying the language. You're enjoying the rewards of your labor. How do we get there? And I often get this question, you know, how, how do we jump from essentially A2 to B2 uh, in the European framework? And there it's just, uh, we have to make that investment. We have to invest in acquiring more words so that eventually we can then listen and enjoy it. So what I do uh, now at Link is I go into sentence mode and I use the five second repeat and I just try to, especially in Farsi where we don't have text to speech and I listen to it and I listen to the sentence and I listen to the sentence again and I look up the new words and I hear the sentence again and I kind of proceed, but I'm dealing with authentic, interesting, potentially interesting content, difficult content. And gradually and ever so gradually, I'm not getting worse, you know, this is the thing. Uh, uh, the brain likes to learn, we all like to learn. There are no shortcuts, but every little, you know, every time I put effort into it, even though I think I'm not getting in anywhere, of course I am. I'm building up my vocabulary, my ability to, to understand when I hear, not just when I read. And that's difficult because you can read through it and pick out the words and you didn't quite get it the first time, but you look at the word, you know what it is, and then you hear it and it's still not comprehensible and you just have to continue. So in a way, the, the rewards are fewer in that middle stage. Uh, you're not listening as often to the same material because typically, whereas the, the mini stories are four minutes long here, you, I might be dealing with a podcast that's 15 minutes long. And I'm going through it, through it sentence by sentence and I'm working it and mining it for words and phrases and save a word and then I save the phrase and if it's in Arabic I can hear the text to speech of the phrase or I use the actual live audio track go over that uh, sentence. By the way I shouldn't uh, spill the beans so to speak but we're working on a number of interesting things uh, for Link and one of which, one of these will be the ability in sentence view to set the timestamps because the automatic timestamps often don't work. And so, you, you know, you, you click on the text to speech for that sentence, you get the text to speech. We want it to be so that you click on that, uh, you know, audio indicator and you get the natural voice for that sentence. So all of these things are going to become better. There's a number of things that we have in the pipeline that are going to make it better. And I think a big part of it is to make that, that intermediate stage where we're building ourselves up so that we will be able to, and that's the goal, we will be able to eventually just grab an interesting audiobook, an interesting podcast, just listen to it, enjoy it, discover the culture, discover the language, feed the brain, and all this kind of stuff. And that's kind of the third, that's the glide portion, okay? so. Just to summarize, so I, I see three stages. There's the initial very steep climb, but you have that sense that you've, you're achieving something. Then you have that long grind where you just have to sock in more words and phrases, train the brain, sentence mode or full lesson mode, whatever you prefer, so that you eventually get to the point where now you can just listen for fun and now you're well on your way. And when you're good at listening for, when you do a lot of listening for fun and you have a significant vocabulary, then you can really start speaking a lot, which you eventually have to do. You have to speak a lot in order to speak well. And, and I would say that in my own strategy, learning strategy, you know, even now I'm spending all my time working with these texts, developing my ability to understand what I hear, increasing my vocabulary. I'm not doing any online tutor sessions. It would be fun to do it, but I just feel I don't have enough. I, I'm more concerned about how well I'm going to speak at the end of my journey rather than what I'm able to do, you know, uh, in the first phase or the second phase. Although I enjoyed interacting with my tutors and I may, I may get started, especially in, in Farsi where we don't have text to speech, just in order to have a better sense of, of these words, how they're pronounced, and so forth and so on. Anyway, there you have it. Three stages in our, in our language learning strategy. I hope that was helpful.